everybody from Tested. It's Adam here, and you know how much I love Blade Runner and the Blade Runner Blaster. We have covered my obsession with this pistol and the movie extensively on Tested over the years. There's a whole bunch of videos about it, um, but a new Blade Runner Blaster has come out, and I wanted to let you know about it. It's not the Tomenosuke, uh, which are beautiful replicas, and we've covered those before. No, um, the new Blade Runner Blaster that is available uh, is available for under $20. What? This is not in the US, this is in Asia, uh, but a company called Elfin Knights has released a Blade Runner water pistol. I'm not kidding. A Blade Runner water pistol. Look at this, and it's, it, okay. I am never removing this from the bag because it's so beautiful, but because I am obsessive and profligate, I bought a second one that I did remove from the bag, and I'm here to tell you, it's pretty darn good. Um, first of all, this thing weighs all of maybe 20 grams, uh, maybe an ounce and a half, I don't know, 40 grams. It is ludicrously light. Um, it is uh, made of clear smoky acrylic or plastic, uh, meant to be an actual water pistol. I, I, guess, I guess I should fill it up and see how it operates as a water pistol. Uh, but before I do, let's do a little comparison with my Blade Runner blaster. Let's take a look at these two things. And I'm here to tell you that um, it's not a bad replica. From a size standpoint, uh, it is pretty darn close. It's a very respectable replica. And already on the replica prop forum, um, my fellow Blade Runner fanatics are modifying these, filling them with sand and buckshot and plaster in order to give them some weight and then giving them finishes that are more closely resemble the Blade Runner blaster to some incredible effect. But that is, look, there wouldn't be a market for a Blade Runner water pistol if a bunch of obsessives, starting with Bill Stein Schneider and his friends, hadn't figured out everything to do. And then people like Coyle and Sidkit and others started producing home kits. And eventually, Tomenosuke gets an actual license, produces beautiful replicas. And that leads all the way here. And again, I think this starts with the fans to a Blade Runner water pistol. What could be cooler than that? Got to figure out how to display it. Oh, right, before I go, we got to fill it. Okay, um, come with me to the sink. All right. There we go. So uh, it would appear that only the handle fills up with water. Um, and, uh, ooh, that's actually not a bad water pistol. I'm gonna shoot Gunther right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> he can't flinch because he's holding the camera. Oh, I'm such a, I'm sorry, Gunther. I didn't mean to get you in your junk. <laughs> hold on, uh, we gotta put up, hold on. Wait right there. All right, look, we have to get a shot of me squirting the camera. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this new piece of acrylic up there in front of the lens. We're ready with the acrylic in front of the lens. Here we go. That's it, yeah! <laughs> now, again, these aren't available in the US. You have to buy them from eBay if you want one. And there's some people, jerks, trying to sell them for up to 200 bucks. They were 15 bucks new. Uh, so you shouldn't pay more than 30. That's what I paid for these two. Um, thanks for joining us on Adam's continuing prop obsession with a Blade Runner blaster. I think I hit the ceiling.